Without live sports, millions of people have tuned in to the Last Dance docuseries on Michael Jordan's final season with the Bulls, which this week provided an unlikely star with a proud son watching in Nashville. After storms blew through his Bellevue neighborhood on Sunday, Nikolai Wozniak waited for the power to come back on. Sundays, we know it's time to watch The Last Dance, and when the power went out, I said, well, I'll just catch it tomorrow on Netflix. After the phone service, you know, ramp back up. I had all these texts and calls and memes and gifts and of my dad and I said what did I miss? Wozniak had missed the most viral scene in the first six episodes of the Michael Jordan docuseries The Last Dance. Get your money up first. I've seen it. How much? Twenty dollars? In which his father John Michael Wozniak, part of Jordan's security detail at the time, beat the NBA legend in a game of quarters. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a surprise. It was kind of like, oh, yeah, you know, like it was familiar. It was just them hanging out and they caught on camera. Immediately, John Michael, who passed away in January after battling cancer, became an Internet sensation with pictures and memes of this unknown man with a curly mullet taunting Jordan with his signature shrug. I'd say, Dad, you know, why don't you change your hair up a little bit, change your style, you're on camera all the time. He said, people recognize me because of my hair and because of my mustache, because of my, they recognize me. This is my look. So the feeling I had was he was right. Like I was almost, almost like embarrassed of how right he was. Nikolai continues to field calls and texts from people who want to know about his father, a 31 year veteran of the Chicago police department nicknamed Hollywood and Jordan's bodyguard for more than three decades before his passing. An unexpected chance for Nikolai to honor the father he so dearly loved and misses. John Michael Wozniak, a.k.a. Uh, Hollywood, uh, was a first and foremost a, uh, uh, an awesome father. He was a very, very proud uh, Chicago police officer of narcotics. Very proud of the guys he worked with. With Mr. Jordan, he truly saw, they called each other brother truly saw him as a brother and a friend and was just an, a quiet, very low-key, quiet, good man. And I'm honored to tell people that. 